now, though, to continue our inspirational story series, we welcome Briley Mills to the Harvey Norman Lounge. Despite losing her left arm in a car accident at the age of six, dancer, choreographer, teacher, photographer and motivational speaker, Briley Mills continues to live life to the fullest and is here to inspire us all in how a few setbacks can be, over, can be hurdled over. Good morning, Briley. Good morning. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Round of applause for Brian. Thank nice. you. We must start by saying uh, your arm. You lost that in an accident at the age of six. Yes, I did. Gosh, so ha your arm now, do you have to have new arms all the time? Yeah, I, this is new actually. I haven't worn a prosthetic for a long time. Uh, so this is a new kind of functional training arm, which I'm kind of having a go at. But also in the process of getting a, a flash myo-electric fancy robot <gasps> handmade, which is really exciting. Wow, a fancy yeah. robot. That sounds interesting. So you were saying before <laughs> that that arm has has attachments so you can do lots of gym stuff. Yes. That's pretty cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And they think of awesome. everything. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so you lost your arm at the age of six. I mean, how did that affect your childhood? Uh, it, it was it was definitely a hard time, but I kind of was six years old, so I had this kind of tenacious attitude to just get through it and see it as a challenge. I was like, cool, what, what can I do next? And, and just who can I share this with? And yeah, just I have a lot of respect for that kind of six-year-old that kind of faced it like it was this cool thing instead of something that was negative. Kids yeah. do, don't they, to yeah. a certain extent? They... An amazing kind of fearlessness to them and, and you definitely you. have to hold, <laughs> hold that on to that as we get older because we definitely lose that, I think. Mm. Were you yeah. a dancer before the accident? Yeah, I was. I started dancing, I was about four when I started my own classes, but I mean, my mum was a dancer and both my sisters danced, so it was it was kind of fate that I fell into it, yeah. And how did it affect how you danced? Do you remember how it affected your, your balance and things? Yeah, it, it definitely was a big thing, kind of losing a big side of your left like your left side obviously so I fell on my face a lot after the accident and not just in dancing but I I think I owe a lot to ballet and and dancing for helping me find my center again and really mm. having a strong understanding of my body to be able to function daily let alone yeah move around yeah. yeah well you obviously overcame a lot of adversities back then but then after high school you were the first New Zealander was it is this correct the uh, the first disabled dancer to ever be accepted to the Brent Street Performing Arts Centre which is quite a big deal isn't it yeah it was it was a bit shocking to be honest but yeah I auditioned for schools uh, in Australia in 2013 and, and got in um, to Brent Street which was crazy which would have been incredible but then you had yeah. another setback before yeah. you actually got there what happened uh, I had a another car accident um, I was driving back from the shore and I yeah was involved in a pileup on the motorway um, and I cut through my quad and hit the knee and shattered my ankle so were you worried that your leg you're gonna lose your leg yeah I yeah I was worried they kind of said I wouldn't walk properly again so yeah dreams kind of shattered in front of me very quickly when that happens, when dreams are shattered, people can quite often give up hope. So what was it that got you through all of that? That made you go, stuff it, I'm just going <laughs> to deal with that, I'm going to carry on. Yeah, oh, I love dancing, so I think just the want to kind of get back to it. But I'm really, really lucky that I've kind of grown up with the most amazing people around me and just had this constant army of people supporting me and wanting me to to do what I want to do and just I've been really lucky to have that support mm. and, and even through like those really really hard times they were, they were there more than ever. So you yeah. did get to the, the, the to the performing arts school didn't you? Yeah I did yeah a year later but I got there. And yeah. what was the experience like? It, oh it was incredible it was so overwhelming it was hard it was really really hard and and it was just a crazy year but it was it was just so amazing to kind of achieve a dream and and know that I'd been through so much but still managed to kind of get there. Yeah. You're a photographer as well now, which yep. is fantastic because you're quite busy. I don't know how you <laughs> find the time. Uh, what's the Warrior series all about? Tell us about that. Uh, I started the Warrior series a few years ago as kind of a project to to empower young girls and dancers. Um, not not necessarily girls, but that's kind of the main demographic for me. Um, and we do kind of photo shoots where we talk about everything that we want to talk about with girls so kind of strength and power and, and showing them that they are strong and they are beautiful but it's not just what's on the outside it's kind of unleashing the inner warrior is what we talk about yeah wow, they're beautiful so what's next for you uh i think I'm, I'm really excited to kind of be on this journey of motivational speaking um it's very new i've only been doing it for about a year but yeah, it's it's amazing to be able to share my story and and the conversations it allows me to have is definitely mm. the thing that that 
makes me want to do it all the time and, and be able to have, have kids come up to you and, and share their story and, and allow them to kind of have this platform to stand on to tell me what they've been through or, yeah, to inspire people in any way to achieve those dreams that they have, even if they're absolutely crazy. Yeah. Well, no, and we all moan a lot, don't we, about some of the silly <laughs> things in our lives. I mean, we hear people we like do. you, you think, what are we complaining about? Uh, yeah. Good on you. Congratulations on everything. Yeah, Thank good you. luck with the new arm, too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you'd like to get in touch with Briley, you can head to her Facebook and Instagram pages, which I'm sure will be full of fantastic photos yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm sure they will be.